today's lesson, we're going to divide using the bus stop method, leaving remainders. For this lesson, you're going to need a pen, a piece of paper, and your brain switched on. Let's recap what we already know about the bus stop method and short division. The long number is our dividend, and this is the number that we're going to divide. The small number on the outside is our divisor, and this is what we're going to divide our dividend by. And above the line is our quotient, and this is the answer and the amount of times that the dividend can be divided by the divisor. So let's look at a short division calculation and recap what we've already learned. So we know that the large number needs to be divided by the smaller number or the dividend by the divisor. Now the divisor in this case is 3 and the dividend is 6378. To make it easy for ourselves though, we can break the 6378 into smaller parts. So we've got to find out how many times the 3 initially goes into our 6,000. Now using my number facts, I know that 3 goes into 6 2 times. So 3 is going to 6,000 2,000 times. So I place the 2,000 in the quotient area and I cross out the 6. I move along. And now I've got to find out how many times 3 goes into 300. I use my number facts, I know that 3 goes into 3 once, so 3 must go into 300 100 times. Cross out the 3. And then move along again. Now I've got to work out how many times 3 goes into 70. Now 3 goes into 7 2 times. Using my number facts I can go 3 it can't go any further but what I do know is it leaves one left over so if three goes into seven two times three must go into seven to two times uh, 20 times now 20 times must leave 10 left over so we place our two we cross out our seven and we carry over our 10 into the ones column now we've got to work out how many times 3 goes into 18. Now using our times table, we can do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So 3 goes into 18 6 times. So the answer to 6,378 divided by 3 is 2,126. Look at another calculation and this one leaves a remainder now a remainder is when a number doesn't quite fit into the other number and leaves some left over now we found this already in our previous calculations when we carry over a digit but a remainder is when all the digits have been used and there still is a number left over so let's have a look Using the short method division that we've learned, we know that 6,516 is to divided, be divided by 5. But we're going to break it down. So we're going to look at how many times 5 goes into 6,000. Now, 5 goes into 6 one time. So 5 goes into 6,000 one time. And it leaves one remainder. So we put our 1 in our quotient, we cross out our 6, and carry over our 1 into the next column. Now we need to work out how many times 5 goes into 15 hundreds. Now I know that 5 goes into 15 3 times, using my multiplication. So I know that 5 must go into 1500 
300 times. So I place my 300 in my quotient area and I cross out my numbers. I move along again. Now I've got to find out how many times five goes into one. Now five goes into one, never. So or I know that I'm gonna carry over my one, my 10, into the next column. So I put a zero and I cross out the one. I move the one across and now I've got to work how many times five goes into 16. So using my multiplication facts, I can work out that five, 10, 15. So it works out that five goes into 16 three times, but it leaves one left over. Now, because we've got no other numbers to divide, we simply add the remainder one using R1 onto the end of our number in the quotient. So, 6,516 divided by five equals 1,303, remainder one. Let's look at another one. This time we're gonna divide our dividend, which is 2,132, by our divisor, which is seven. So we're gonna look at how many times our divisor can go into our dividend. So let's start and see how many times seven goes into two. Well, of course, seven doesn't go into two because two is a smaller number than seven. So we can place a zero above in the quotient area and cross out our two. Remember, we need to carry over our two into the next column. So now we're going to see how many times seven goes into 21. Using our times tables, we can do seven, 14, 21. So seven goes into 21 three times. We place our three in the quotient and we cross out our number. Moving along, we're going to see how many times seven goes into three. Well, of course, seven doesn't go into three because three is a smaller number. So we can place a zero in the quotient, cross out our three and carry it over to the next column. This time we're going to see how many times seven goes into 32. Using our times tables, seven, 14, 21, 28, and if we went any further, it would go past 32. So the maximum time seven can go in without leaving anything is four. But in this case, it leaves a remainder. So we place the four in our quotient, and we carry over the remainder, which in this case is four. Now, as there's no other numbers for us to divide, we can't divide this number again. So we simply put remainder four in our quotient area, which is our four. So now we know that 2,132 divided by seven is 304 remainder four. Now it's your turn. Here are four problems for you to solve. Remember, if you get stuck, you can pause the video, rewind the video, watch it all over again, and make sure that you're 100% knowing how to complete it. Good luck.